All right, so now we're gonna go over the main principles of modeling and we're gonna understand how Rhino understands shapes and objects. So how Rhino works, the best way to think of it is you got three different types of objects. You got things in one dimensions, two dimensions, and three dimensions. So Rhino essentially uses something called NURBS, N-U-R-B-S. Now this has a really technical definition, but think of it as you define certain points and curves and then it creates surfaces in between those points. So points are in one dimension. You see on the top left, you can use single points. We can click and hold and change your method. We'll go to multiple points and just place down a bunch of points. These are essentially non-existent points that only exist in the interface. It's a single point within your 3D world. Then you have curves, which we can use a polyline. Then press enter. You see this is a one dimensional line that only exists in the interface once again. We can also use curve polylines by using the control point curve. You can get a more accurate line by using the interpolate points. And this makes your curve go directly around the point. Then we have surfaces, which are 2D. So we use this tool on the left to create a 2D surface. You can also create a rectangle box and then type in planar SRF, which means planar surface. And this will create a surface using your curves. And then finally, we have poly surfaces and 3D extrusions. So these are 3D objects. We can create this by making a rectangle, selecting it and type in extrude curve. Then press enter and then click. Now you can see we have created a closed box from our curves by using the extrusion. Uh, extrude curve is one of the most common tools used within Rhino, so it's good to get familiar with that. You're essentially taking your lines and extruding them up into 3D. There's also various shapes you can choose from on the side here. And these are all closed poly surfaces. Closed poly surface versus open poly surface. Uh, there's a big difference. Open poly surfaces will give you a lot of problems, but they can be okay for simply 3D modeling. Closed poly surface means that all of the points and edges and curves and surfaces are all closed and meet each other. So these three are an example of a closed poly surface. You'll get open poly surfaces, say if you have lines like this, but then you don't join and close it and then you extrude it. This is right now just a surface and you cannot make a box from it. We'll go into more detail of this later, but for now, just keep in mind closed poly surfaces. We can use tools such as Boolean to modify our objects. So you see, if we put the circle into the cylinder and we use Boolean union, if we click both of these and press enter, it has now created this into a single shape and we can actually split objects using this method. So if we put this square into this and then we'll use the command Boolean difference, we click on our square. This is where we'll be taking uh, the subtraction from. This will make sense after I do it. So we click the square first, press enter. Then it says select the surfaces or poly surfaces to subtract with. Then we'll select these ones. Now that we've done our Boolean difference, we can remove this and you'll see it has taken this volume out of the box. You can also use Boolean split. So if we take a surface and rotate it using the gumball, hold down shift to snap your rotation. We can split this into half. So we use Boolean split and then select our cutting plane, press enter. We can delete our cutting plane and you'll see we've now split this into two. We can also move and snap these objects around. So we turn gumball off and type in move. 
with our snap turned on, we can select a corner or point and then place it onto our box. Then we can use Boolean union again to merge this into one shape. So those are the basic principles of how to use Rhino. We'll be jumping straight into the fast track series. We're gonna take these principles and we're gonna create the Mies van der Rohe Farnsworth house in just six videos.